with Adobe Captivate 2017, you can record software simulations in Show Me, Try It and Test Me modes in a single recording session by capturing all the on-screen action, including mouse movements, system audio and keyboard activity. Let's take a look at the workflow to record software simulations using Captivate. On the welcome screen, under the new tab, double click software simulation. This will give you the recording preferences dialog and a red rectangle which will decide the capture area. In the recording preferences, you can select whether you want to record the screen area or a specific application. Let's select specific application and in the drop down list, let's select Microsoft PowerPoint. You can also decide whether you want to capture the application window, application region or a custom size. Let's go with the custom size of 1024 by 627. If you wish to change the size, you can open the drop down and select one of the presets or enter the values in these fields. Also, you can decide whether you want to record a show me demonstration, a try training or a test me recording. Or you can decide to have all three recorded at the same time. You can also decide if you want to enable panning or record audio using your microphone and system audio. After making your selections, click record. It will give you a counter of 3 to 1. And after that, whatever action you do on the screen will be recorded by Captivate. Now let's record the simulation. I've recorded the steps that I wanted to show in the simulation. To end the recording, if you are on Windows machine, you can press the end key on your keyboard. And on Mac, you can click the Captivate icon on the top bar. This will create three different projects for demonstration, assessment and training. Let's preview how the training simulation looks like. Click Preview, Project. Notice how the simulation pauses and waits for me to do some action. If I hover over the insert tab, it shows me the hint caption. And if I click somewhere else, it shows me the error caption. Clicking insert will take me to the next step, where I need to go and click Adobe stock button. And it goes to the next slide. Let's close this preview and see how to edit the objects generated by Captivate. You can increase or decrease the size of the click boxes by holding the handles and increasing the size. You can also reposition these click boxes if they are not placed appropriately. The text captions can also be edited. If you need to modify the text, just double click inside the text caption, select the text and then replace the text with the right text. You can also change the look and feel of these captions. So if you wish to change how this caption looks like, you can change the fill for this caption and change the text color as well. To apply the same property to the other text caption, you can click this button next to the style name and select save changes to existing style. This will change the style for all the failure captions in this project. Once you are done with all the edits, you can click the publish button and select publish to computer. Here, you can select whether you want the output to be in Swift format, HTML5 format or both. After making the selections, click publish and then deploy your simulation to your learning management system.